Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the Chinese stock ETF. Before we begin, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe as you really help out the channel. Without further ado, let's first start off with KWEB. So Queen shares uh, started the week with uh, two days of continuous selling on the Monday and Tuesday, followed by three days and we closed the week on the high. So that is a good sign of a potential reversal. You can see that there was actually a signal here given on Tuesday and Wednesday where there was a very uh, large red candle here. So if you will see a very large red candle followed by a very small green candle, there is a potential sign of a reversal. So it's likely for us to be on a downtrend here. And if you see this kind of patterns, the next day, if there's any confirmation of a, a large green candle, there's a potential a chance of a reversal. So you can see this is a, a potential a reversal a, for bearish reversal candlestick. And true enough, on the Thursday, we see a very nice uh, long green candle. So that is a good sign. So resistance to watch, you can see that KWEB has really crossed this 61.8%, 2737. So next resistance will be 2837, followed by the recent high of 2963. Do expect very strong resistance at 2935 to 2963, as this is a, a very strong resistance, 61.8%, from a low of 2372 to high of 3283. At the same time, it also coincides with the cloud resistance. You can see that it rejected once here, twice here. So this will be a third attempt to actually um, cross this cloud resistance. So if we do cross it, then there is a good hope. Then we study for us to be aiming towards this uh, $30 psychological resistance before we test the high of $38.88. Hopefully, we can punch up higher to about $32.83. However, do take note that if we do pull back, then we can see some support here at this uh, blue conversion line and red baseline, which is currently at $26.46 and $26.67. And this low here at um, $20. 24 for the cannot break down. If this were to break down, then you will start turning very bearish. You can see that this is a very strong uh, level of support at $24. And we are seeing uh, buyers come in to support this level as of now. So we may see some sideways consolidation for a while and your range bound. Hopefully you can start breaking up and create uh, higher highs and also higher lows, which is uh, very important for an uptrend. So next up we have uh, CWEB. So CWEB, you can see that it's a very tight ranging. As of now, we have yet to test the cloud resistance, but we are approaching it very soon. And you can see that the cloud is extremely thick, so it is will be will definitely be some struggle between six dollars to eight dollars. Looking at its resistance, we actually uh did not close above the sixty one point percent at five forty eight. So this five forty eight will be a very uh tough resistance to go through. Next resistance to watch will be five eighty seven followed by six thirty seven recent high. Um, as of now. There's also a lot of resistance upcoming for CWEB and still a long way to go. So I'm not too concerned about these uh, levels here above $6. It's better for us to see whether we are able to uh, even cross this 587 and 637 before we can uh, punch up. We have to cross this strong resistance here. Uh, regarding the supports to watch, you can see that this uh, blue uh, conversion line and this red baseline acted as a very strong support here. So you can see at this $5 psychological support for this blue baseline uh, conversion line and 521 for this uh, red baseline. So this two will be a very strong support for CWEB in the next week. Lastly, we have FXI. So FXI, uh, very similar situation as uh, CWEB. So you can see CWEB also had this uh, very nice looking red candle here followed by this uh, green candle that is very small. So there is a sign of reversal similar to uh, FXI. You see that uh, red candle here and also this uh, small green candle, which is a sign of a potential reversal. So FXI is slightly stronger. You can see that we already tested this 70.6% at 30.94. So there is uh, some hope. In fact, we closed exactly at 30.94 for the week. And it was also the week high. So it shows that this resistance is pretty a strong one. So the next resistance will be testing 31.79. At the same time, you can see that it was rejected off the clouds here. So do expect some rejection here. We can penetrate the clouds slightly and before we, we you turn back down. So at the same time, 3188 will be a very strong resistance to go through, which was a recent high of 2783 to a recent high of 3439. Looking at some of the supports, hopefully this blue conversion line and this rate based on can act as a support. It's currently at um, $30 psychological support and also at 2980. 
which is a very strong resist, uh, support for uh, FXI. And hopefully we can hold it and start creating uh, higher highs and higher lows and we can start trending up from here. Then that would be a good sign. If we were to break down, then unfortunately, we may just see these kind of patterns. We test the lows of uh, $20 once again. And hopefully we will see more momentum next week and there's more um, buying through. If not, we are likely to see a uh, cloud rejection for all CWEB, KWEB and FXI. So if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.